Hello everyone, uh, my name is Martin. I am going to try and show you how to solo uh, the A4 Halflings on a Necromancer. Um, it's something I find really challenging and uh, it can definitely go south, so if I don't make it then uh, then yeah, we'll take that uh, as, as part of the, the ride. I've been camping these with my shaman, so right now the, the the twins, the halflings, are down, which also means they will spawn sort of out of sync. So I won't get to show you how to single pull them, but it's pretty easy. I'll, if both are up with the necro, what I'll do is I'll I'll root one, and I'll so I'll stand here and I'll root one of them, and then I'll run through this door. I'll have my pet camped out here just to be safe, uh, and the other one comes. I'll send in the pet, and then I'll uh, feign death. And as soon as Fain Death is successful, as long as the root is on, I'll just stand up immediately, as that will have reset the uh, the aggro. So, won't do that, but uh, yeah. So, doing this, you probably want to pull out as many stops as you can. So, I'm going to put on Mana Skin as well. The, 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 t the strategy, I'll, the, that's what I'll show you, is to basically dot up the, uh, dot up the mob and um, have your pet tank for as long as it can and as soon as your pet gets low i mean you'll try and you can heal it with shadow bond and dispel with an all magic uh the the curse i will try to do that but it's uh it's not always sort of something that pans out right now i have a shaman buff on me i have regrowth i'll click that off just to make it as authentic as possible um so yeah you want to be healing your pet but your pet won't be able to just stand and take it so eventually what you will want to do is have deflox on uh, up and then just go and tank the uh the halfling and sometimes it can go right down to the wire and like this is somewhat of a gear dependent thing my gear is not great but it's not the worst uh, a couple of important um pieces of gear i'd say is this book from plane of hate that has the the necromancer pet focus that makes a pretty big di pretty big difference on the pet you summon <clears throat> i think up to as much as like six or eight hundred hit points uh worth of difference but i mean i guess you can offset that if you don't have the book if, if the rest of your gear is just better than what i have uh, i don't have that many sort of uh end game items and the other item i would say that's pretty neat to have is the epic just for the free damage I'm not sure how possible it would be without that, but yeah. I'm I'm gonna buff my pet with uh, the the bilious pants augment death. You can obviously just buff it with the spell you have uh, in your spell book. Uh, all right, and also yeah, like clickies. You need I would say probably two clickies if you want to try and do the annul magic thing. You could try just not to do it and. That could work, but it's if you can pull it off, it's definitely worth it. Uh, and when he spawns, which should be like really soon, uh, let me see, I had him noted here. Uh, actually, maybe not. It's not until like eight or nine minutes from now. So I'll pause, I'll edit that out. But um, once he spawns, uh, I'll, I'll just fight him uh, where he is because we will have succeeded or failed before his uh, his brother shows up. All right, so the first halfling should spawn in about two minutes. So I'll just quickly run through my, my spell setup here. So uh, yeah, deflux to spam uh, when we need to go in and sort of battle tank uh, the halfling. I guess I could actually, I don't have to have root up. I would have that up normally when pulling, but uh, yeah, maybe I should. Hmm, I'm not really sure what to put in there, um, but yeah, don't need that. So what I'll do is I will pull with splurt and send in pet, then I'll epic dot. And then I will load uh, probably vexing more Dinia and then pyrocrore, just because it's more important to have vexing on at all times than I would say pyro. The where we can get into trouble is if 
if we get a resist on the epic actually that's kind of annoying and if that happens i think the correct thing to do is to go ahead with vexing and pyrocrore and then try to land epic later on um once we're going, we really don't have a lot of time, so a 9 second cast time, which is what's on the epic, is somewhat of an issue. At this, is, at this point, our pet will likely be at around half, uh, half its life total, so we want to be able to heal it. Uh, that means clicking off our top spell slot and then healing the pet. We get, a, we get the, um, the, the recourse uh, thing first slot and then we'll dispel it. Sometimes uh, EverQuest can mess up uh, and we the, the the spell gems get tangled and stuff like that and I think there was also something uh, of a patch uh, a while ago where they might have nerfed um, this spell to be more random so I'm not sure. I'm going to try that once and if it starts dispelling random stuff I'm just not going to do it. Oh okay here we are. There is Gren. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and splurt him, and I'm going to send in pet, I'm going to spam the epic, pet will grab aggro, and then I'm going to spam, actually I'm going to spam pyro since, oh, never mind, I'm going to spam vexing since we had our epic uh, resisted. I'm going to spam, I'm going to cast pyro, I'm going to risk trying to get epic to land before healing we should really be healing now um i feel so hopefully epic won't get resisted once uh once more okay great it wasn't okay so we'll heal our pet which is already like really low now and we'll dispel ourselves hopefully it'll take the top two slots and it did which is great so i'm gonna step in now and take some beatings uh, our mana shield, our mana skin is uh, getting beaten off now. So we have to get him down as fast as possible. Right, I'm going to step away and I'm going to do the heal pet thing again. Gonna dispel myself. Step in. And vexing has worn off, so we really wanna get that on there, so I'm gonna step out. Hopefully he won't kill our pet in the in the meantime. We still have our heal on the pet. I'm gonna step in and spam deflux. Getting pummeled by him. He's such a beast. Splurt has worn off, which is not good. Going to step out. Going to deflux. Going to run back in. He will run at 20%. So as you can see, this is uh, cutting it very close. There he goes. So we made it. And Epic is off as he is moving. So gonna try and epic him again but yeah so we made it <clears throat> and we'll see if we get uh, uber lucky with some loot that's definitely one thing to be aware of here the loot chances are just so incredibly low on uh, on this plane of mischief stuff I think I've killed like uh, I want to say like 35 40 uh, mobs like of the three so I've had the camp like maybe for 12 cycles, maybe more, and I've gotten one thrown, uh, one thrown card. So maybe I'm just sort of unlucky and it's an outlier, but yeah, I don't know. All right, so Gren going down. And let's see. Ah, uh, boo, nothing. One of these right word. Words of wealth things, I usually just destroy them. You need them for a quest bit, but they drop everywhere in the zone. All right, well, so that's it. That's uh, how to how to necro solo one of the halflings. I'm actually gonna gonna log off in a moment to to do the rest with my shaman because that is a lot easier. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, I definitely the first time I did it, it's it's with uh, sort of a 
a, a pounding heart and uh and yeah like there isn't really a lot of room for errors um like that one time where you're just slacking off and you end up having yourself targeted while casting a dot or something like that and it's it's probably over so uh, but yeah thanks uh for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll yeah maybe i'll be back at some point with some more necromancer stuff bye bye